Welcome to Practical Theology, a little five minute message here on how to change the world. And uh, my wife, I uh, love her to death. Uh, she puts all these little pictures up around the house and I'll try to put one on this video of, of different inspirational sayings. And, and right beside our, our uh, toilet in the bathroom, she's got a sign that that basically says that everybody wants to change the world, but nobody wants to change the toilet paper roll. So be the change. And uh, husbands, if you're watching this, or even wives, if, you, if you're watching this now, be the change, you know, change the toilet paper roll. But it, but it got me to thinking, and, and I've preached this before in, in a larger context, but you know, we, we live in a, in a day and time with such polarization. We live in a day and time with uh, such animosity. And, and people are always trying to come up with ways to, to, to change the world. And good, bad, or indifferent. Um, a lot of people look to politics to change the world. A lot of people look to, you know, a, a certain political party. If I invest all my time, energy, and effort in into promoting this party, you know, <coughs> excuse me, we will be able to, to change the world. Some people look into uh, community service, you know, uh, plant one tree at a time. We'll be able to change the world or maybe reduce carbon emissions. We will, we will change the world. And, and there's a, a million different things. If you just Google a million different projects to, to make the world better or or different ways people think that they're going to actually change the world. And as Christians, uh, we need to realize that the only way to change the world is to follow through with the Great Commission. I'm going to go ahead and read that. It's the last verses in Matthew, Matthew chapter 28, starting in verse 16, it says, The eleven disciples traveled to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but some doubted. Jesus came near and said to them, All authority has been given to me in heaven and earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of age. You know, the world is going to get worse. We know that as, as we read the Bible. So how, how do we make it better? I mean, we need to think eternally and not temporally. And remember, you know, everything that we have here on earth, this, my house, this is my, my office that I'm in. You know, at, at some point it'll be tore down. My, my vehicles I drive will eventually uh, be uh, in a uh, junkyard somewhere. Um, all the money in the bank, uh, you know, people have will eventually be, once you pass on, your, your kids or your grandkids or somebody's going to fight over the, or argue over uh, the money in the bank. So we need to stop thinking temporally and start thinking eternally. And remember, the, the only the way that we're truly going to change things is through the gospel. And going out and, and, to, and to start witnessing to people, start sharing our faith to other people. And then once uh, people accept Jesus as the disciple them, one person at a time. And, and when we do that, we're thinking eternally because th this earth is only going to be here for a finite uh, amount of uh, 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 time. And so we need to start thinking and start trying to change people individually. And if you start changing people, or maybe if revival breaks out, but if you start witnessing to people within, within your circle of friends or within your, uh, maybe your work group, and people start accepting Jesus and they st start obeying God's word, you're going to see noticeable change, not, not only within your group, but within your community. You know, we need to bring back the, the God-fearing communities. We need to bring back the, the people that um, worship God and have a, a desire to, to grow in their faith. The only way to change people's lives and then eventually change the world is through the gospel. Through the Great Commission, preaching the gospel to people, witnessing to people, and then discipling them. And discipling or discipleship is a, a very important process. 
Once again, I, I thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, if you would, please like and subscribe.